What's happening, fifth grade? What's happening? Welcome to day number four of our verbs unit. Today, I'm a little closer than usual, so you wah, but I'm a little closer because so, I really want you to see the board that we're looking at. Today, we're looking at verbs in terms of what linking verbs to use and when to use them. So, we have first the word have. Have changes depending on how you use it. And here is how you use it. Check it out. You have I, you, she, we, you, they, I, you again, and he. So, real quick, you, you, you. That can all depend on how many people you're talking to. You can be one person, but the thing is, you can also be more than one. So, kind of keep that in mind as we go along. So, first of all, this can a lot of times be figured out, again, which have version of have to use, by just sounding it out and kind of seeing how it sounds when you say it out loud. So, I have a dog. We have a dog. I had a dog. Had here is in implying that it happened in the past. Now, you have a dog. You have a dog. You had a dog. So that is almost the entirely the same across the board until you need to use it for a singular past tense. Now, she has a dog. They have a dog. He had a dog. So again, it really switches between have had and has. And you can honestly tell when to use it based off of what it sounds like. They has a dog? No. They have a dog? That makes sense. They had a dog? That would also make sense because in that case you're using it in the past. Now, I'm going to fill this out the rest of the way. So, the last one we have again, we, you, and they. So, I'll put this up here in a different color because it is our new one. So, we have we, you, and they. Now, what have word do you want to use? You want to use have, had, or has. In this case, had, because it is plural for the past, is going to be had all the way down the board. You might be thinking, well, how do I know when to use it? I promise you, boys and girls, you hearing it in your head and then saying it out loud, that is really the best way to double check yourself on which one to use. I'm only writing down the chart so that you can see it for yourself and how it looks when you have all the different combinations laid out together. So, again, this is the word have and when to use it. Singular and the present tense. I have, you have, she has. Plural and the present tense. We have, we have, you have, and they have. These here are for when you are talking about something in the present. Now, going to the past. Look. It's literally the word had in every single situation. So when you think about the past tense and the word have, always use H-A-D. Awesome sauce. Now, time to get this old thing off the board and go yeet, get it out of here. Now, we have another chart right here. I'm gonna check the camera to make sure that I can see this whole thing. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Now, this is the word be. Now you might be thinking, wait, I don't see be anywhere on here. That is because to be turns into are or sometimes turning into is and every now and then was and were. Please remember that these are all verbs we're talking about. Anytime you see something underlined and also if you see something underlined from the first anchor chart that I just yeeted over there, you need to look to see where the verb is. Hey, it's what's underlined twice. Woo! All right, so same pattern. Let's go into the present part of to be. I am, you are, she is. Again, just like the word have, this is going to be, in my opinion, more effectively done if you say it out loud. Does I am sound right? Does I is sound right? Does I are sound right? And that is going to tell you, I are, no chance. I is, not even close. I am, ah, am is the verb you would use. Now let's go to plural. We, you, and they. We are. You are, they are. So kind of like with the had, are, are, are. Just like a pirate, are. So we are, you are, they are. Easy peasy, right? Now, singular and plural. This is where we talked about the past. Are and is and am changes to the W words. Was and were. So check it out. For singular, you have some different ones. I was, you were, he was. And again, let's see what it sounds like if you mix them up. You was. No. I were. No. He were. No. Every pronoun has a way it sounds right in your head. He was, you were, I was. Now, just like with had, it is the same verb right down the line when it comes to plural past. 
we were, you were, they were, all the way down, just like we had, you had, they had, just like that. So again, this is when to use linking verbs in what situations. You have plural and singular. You can be talking about the present, but you can also be talking about something that you did in the past. Were, was, oh yeah, present, are, am, is. Boys and girls, if this video was a little confusing to you, it is a lot of information I'm throwing at you. I want you to first go to the Google Doc and check out the assignment that I have on there. It is a very straightforward way of you thinking, oh, when should I use what linking verb and how am I using it? All you're gonna have to do is tell me, hey, in this situation, we blank hungry. Now in that blank, should you use are hungry, is hungry, am hungry? We am hungry? I don't think so. We is hungry? I don't think so. <gasps> Wait a minute, but look, plural, we are hungry, just like the chart says. All right, boys and girls, this has been day four of verbs. We have been working on the linking verbs and what situations to use which linking verb in. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you, oh, excuse me, in the next video.